Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? <laughs> okay, man. We are back here again uh, with another action figure review. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. If I need to do my intro, there there you have it. Man, I've been kicking out a lot of action figure reviews. Uh, they have been coming out with some amazing, amazing toys, man. So I've been trying to kick out some of the new ones and kind of leaving the older ones uh, off to the side. Um, I haven't been doing many uh, spawn reviews. I have been doing a lot of McFarlane re reviews with Mortal Kombat and DC. So I hope you guys have been enjoying a lot of those reviews. And so finally, we get to this Predator Man, which it's about freaking time, right? I mean, you guys have probably already seen millions of reviews of this Laser Shot Predator. You might even own this figure, but today is the day we review this Laser Shot Predator, guys. So... Uh, this is not only going to be a review, but I'm also going to do some comparisons, guys, and I'm going to show you my Predator collection and show you where I stand with my Predator collection because he's going to be added to my huge Predator and Alien collection that I am building. These two freaking Predators, I definitely want to pick up if I can find them. Um, yeah, so stay tuned towards the end of the video, guys, where, where I'm going to do some comparisons, probably with some other figures, and then I'll put up in my Predator collection and I'll show you guys my Predator collection towards the end of the video. But today, it's all about Laser Shot Predator, man. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Predator review. Uh, I've been kicking out a lot of other reviews, but uh, I've held off on this figure for a long time. So now is the day to review this Predator figure. Let's pop this guy out the box, man. Because, like you, I am anxious to review this Predator figure. So there is the explosion. Is this based on the video game, Laser Shot Predator? I know it's based on... Well, here's the read-up on... I don't even want to read it, man, because it's so freaking long. But if you guys want to read up on it, um, read up on it. <laughs> it's a, pause it, read up on it. I just, I don't want to review this. Uh, I don't want to read this because it'll take me forever. And this review is going to be forever, dude. If you guys are accustomed to watching my channel, I'm trying to make my reviews shorter and shorter and shorter. Uh, and I'm trying to make them more interesting too, guys. So I, this, this guy is going to take forever to review because I see a lot of stuff that I like on him. And usually when I spend a lot of time on a figure, that usually means I like them. So... Let's cut off these twisty ties right here so we can free them and review them. And, uh, yeah, man. I've just been busy, busy. Well, busy with a lot of things, but busy with reviewing action figures as well. So, let's clip him out of here and let's take this guy out. Let's set him free, man. If I can get him out. There we go. Yeah, man. Like I said, it's been a while uh, since I've reviewed a Predator figure. Well, actually, it hasn't been that long. Um, there's this little thing at the top. So I guess if you remove this. It lights up. How the fuck do I turn it off now? <laughs> Shit. Can I put it back in there to turn it off? No. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I can put it back in there to turn it off. Okay, I'm guessing... There has to be somewhere... Oh, maybe this is the button right here. Okay, let me put this. take this back off. Okay, so there's a button right here. Oh, look at that. That's dope, man. That is freaking dope. Yeah, so I passed up on this Predator when it first came out. Uh, I was this close to pre-ordering this son of a bitch. Decided not to because or before I even can pre-order this thing, I seen like millions of reviews. Let me turn my light on here. There we go. I've seen millions of reviews, guys, of this Predator figure. I'm like, uh, I'll pass up on it and... 
I'll review it at another time. And so today is that time to review this guy. And man, look at this. <laughs> look at this shit, man. Very nice predator. Um, like I said, I, I like collecting unique stuff. If you guys are accustomed to watching my channels, then you know I, I review a lot of unique stuff. Lately, it's been kind of the norm. You know, I've been reviewing a lot of newer stuff. I like to review a lot of vintage stuff, but I haven't reviewed a lot of vintage stuff, vintage stuff, toys in a while. Um, simply because I've been reviewing a lot of new stuff. But I always like reviewing older toys. And this is based on the Kenner lineup back in the day. Um, I did have a few of the Kenner uh, Predators and Aliens. But um, this guy I never had. So it has an interchangeable fist in there, which we'll leave in there because I, I don't particularly need that at the moment. Um, where the fuck do I even start, man? So... <laughs> So I'm guessing this has to go on to here. I'm guessing this plugs into this right there somehow. Um, or this plugs into here, I'm guessing, possibly, 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 possibly. Or this plugs into here, possibly. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I feel like I should have watched other people's reviews, thorough reviews, before I did this shit. Um, so I guess this would peg into here, right? My guess. My guess? <laughs> what the fuck just broke off? Okay, so... Hmm, hmm, hmm. You're going to give me trouble, aren't you, Predator? Aren't you, dude? There we go. Me likeies. So, I can't really put the fucking shield in there now. Actually, I don't know if I like... I do like this shield, but I feel like it doesn't go with this guy. It's just too freaking pink. Right? I like it, I like it simple, man. This is just too much. I can use this for something. This kind of looks like Loki. Loki symbol, doesn't it? This hand, I'm definitely going to be freaking using. Um, and it goes on to this hand right here. You know, when I see a big hand, I got to fucking put it on, dude. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I just knew this predator was going to give me trouble, man. Get in there. Oh, wait. Is this the right way? I don't know if you think this is the right one. Yeah, this is the right, these are the right fingers. Yeah, because the thumb goes this way. I'm learning as I'm going along, guys. I'm learning as I'm going along. I know I'm going to break something on this guy, man. I just feel it. I might have to warm him up. Yeah, this is not cooperating with me. You asshole. All right, guys. So I finally got the hand into this son of a bitch. What it was is the peg hole for the hand was actually too small for the peg to go into. So I had to stick a knife in there and then kind of dig out a bigger hole to put his hand in there. How long this hand is going to stay in there? I have no idea. But I really wanted this hand to be in there because look at this fucking hand, dude. It's fucking huge. And... It has articulated fingers, so it can go every any which way, every which way. I really dig. I really dig this hand. I really dig the look, guys. Uh, as far as the rest of this shit, I don't know what I'm going to do with this open hand. It's a very nice gold open hand. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. The mask has a hard time fitting on, but I'm not going to put this mask on because I seldom put the mask on uh, unless I really have to. Unless the mask... Unless the mask is really nice. But one thing about these Predator figures is they look so freaking... The, the head sculpts, they look so freaking nice, man. Why are you going to bother putting a mask on to this figure and cover up this beautiful figure? And it just makes his head look gigantic, too. And I just like him with the the head 
piece off as well guys uh, this string attached right here it goes into here but I put the rocket in there instead because I like the rocket this is just too much going on right here um, actually I don't even know if this pegs into here or maybe it does maybe it doesn't maybe this pegs into somewhere else um, it's a possibility <laughs> dude um, yeah it could possibly peg into his arm but i like this right here and this pink thing right here man i wish there was some place i can peg this somewhere else i can peg this onto his body uh but it just doesn't go anywhere it's just too much for this guy it looks nice but it just doesn't look right i like this predator as is guys so let's check out the articulation and then i'll do some comparisons with some other figures and then i'll put them with my predator collection and i'll show you an updated uh, 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 updated video of my Predator collection. All right, so the Predator really is hindered by his design be simply because of his design. Um, did that make any fucking sense? I think I'm getting worse and worse at the toy review, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, his arms can't really go up because of this shit right here. Um barely and this can't go anywhere because of his uh his chest armored shoulder piece right here i like this technique right here you can bring this down and then slide it back down so you don't have to have that but then again if you have this you want to slide this bitch up boom now he's ready for war i like the head sculpt that's on a ball joint predator if you buy a predator figure he's not really he's not going to be articulated i do love this thing right here let's turn off the lights boom Boom! Look at that, guys. Isn't that fucking awesome? I love that, dude. I love, I love that. I love when they give me predators that light up. And boom, you can turn it off just as easy. His arms are at a 90 degree angle, which is awesome. I really like that. I like the 90 degree armor. I love the hand sculpt. I love whatever the fuck this is. Um break here at the upper torso can't really get much bend to it just a swivel i love the skull right here the gold on this guy predator articulation can't really go anywhere um because of his design so yeah he's a very um yeah and there's no double jointed knees on here unless i'm missing something i don't want to bend it too much but yeah one thing about this predator when you create a predator like this and you give him all this armor and shit it's going to hinder his articulation which i don't really care he's a fucking predator i mean we're at a point right now when we're when we're collecting toys you either you're either going to get great sculpt a lot of details or you're just going to get articulation it's very hard, especially in, in these days and times, to find an action figure that is really well detailed and has an amazing articulation. Uh, unfortunately, this guy falls into amazing detail and very little articulation. But overall, the, the immaculate detail of this guy is fucking awesome, man. Beautiful, beautiful figure. I really, really like him. I think they overdid it. But I think that's what their intention was. Okay, guys, so let's let's do some comparisons with some other figures that are not predator related. Then I'll put them in my predator predator collection, and I'll guys sh I'll show you guys my updated predator collection. All right, guy. All right, guys. So I was going through my collection, and I was like taking out stuff, and I was like, what the hell can I get? Uh, and bring out to compare with this predator. So I just brought out some random figures just for the hell of it. So I've decided to bring out Call Obsidian right here, Marvel Legends Call Obsidian, um, simply because he's kind of uh, amphibian and he's kind of got like an amphibian armored look. So uh, Predator, Laser Shot Predator is actually pretty big compared to Call Obsidian, guys. Um, I didn't measure this Predator, so... Let's measure this Predator while we got him standing next to Call Obsidian. So, Laser Shot Predator stands about 8 inches tall, going up to his head, all the way up to his rocket. He's about 8 inches. So, yeah, he's a big, big guy. He's really big, man. Uh, Call Obsidian, if you guys are wondering. 
Uh, he's just a little under nine inches, guys. So yeah, he has about an inch uh, on the Predator. So there's Call Obsidian, just because. Another figure that I brought out that was kind of amphibious looking, I brought out, uh, he doesn't get much shine, but I think he's a really, really cool figure. We bring out uh, Mutated Melbogia, or Melbogia, from Spawn Mutations, simply because, I don't know, I feel like they could make a good team. <laughs> right? This could be Predator's, uh, Laser Shot Predator's bitch right here. Uh, his uh, guard dog, or his, uh, his attack dog right here. But, uh, yeah, this is how they measure up, and uh, I love cool shit like this, man, so um, if, if you're wondering why I love Predator so much, it's because I love this, the, these kinds of figures right here. Uh, speaking of cool figures, I uh, bring in uh, the armored uh, Hellbat bat suit Batman right here, and this is how they measure up. Awesome, awesome figure, man. I love this Hell suit. Batman, he is freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome. So, let's put him in my Predator collection and let's see how he looks. Alright, guys. So, here is the laser shot Predator standing next to Ahab Predator. Kind of blocking his view. I got him standing next to the Fugitive Predator right here. And I have a whole lot of fucking Predators going on, man. We have the Wasp Predator back there. The Golden Angel Predator back there. Um... <sighs> Some predators I can't even fucking remember. The first predator, I don't know if this this predator is the first predator from the first movie or he's from the Predators movie. This one, I forget his name eludes me at the moment. We have Big Red Predator, my custom red alien, a McFarlane Predator, a video game predator. Oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> his name eludes me again. Uh, Chrysalis, Alien, Fugitive, uh, Lab Escape Predator, we have the Snake Alien back here, uh, we have the video game Pink Predator, NECA 2 Predators right here, uh, a Predator from Alien vs. Predator, and then we have the Mad Predator, and then we have the Razor Claws uh, Alien from the Alien vs. Predator video game, guys. So, yeah, my collection is coming along. And Laser Shot, he, yeah, he, he definitely stands out in my Predator collection, guys. I definitely, definitely like this Predator. I think he's really, really awesome. And I'm glad to add to my Predator collection. As you guys see, my fucking shelf is, like, running out of room here with Predators and Aliens, man. So, I might have to do, <laughs> I might have to do, like, a predator shelf and then an alien shelf, man, just to free up some room, guys, because I feel like I'm running out of room with my predator and alien figures. And as you can see, a lot of them are back there and you can't even see them. So if you guys have been watching my video, I kind of dropped my NECA shelf down here of all the NECA horror villains and, and other uh, NECA figures. And then uh, I might have to drop that down just a notch so I can... Put another space up here for my Predator and Alien figures, man. So, yeah, I definitely like this Laser Shot Predator. Let me give you my rating since we're uh, talking about him right here. I definitely give this Laser Shot Predator, I really like him. I'm going to give him a 9. Overall, the detail is immaculate. I like him. He stands out. He's different. He's, he's unique. I like the purple skin. I like everything about this Predator, man. I definitely do think you should pick him up. This Fugitive Predators, Predator is one of my favorites. And then this Lab Escape Predator over here is caught me by surprise. I didn't think I would like this guy, but I actually really do love this Predator figure. And that Chrysalis Alien, one of my favorites. Actually, I love all these Predators, man. Uh, there's not a single Predator uh, figure that I have in this entire collection that I dislike. I like them all for what they are, man. But this Laser Shot Predator is definitely a pickup if you guys are Predator collectors. If you are, then you probably already have this guy. So, kudos. Kudos to you guys. All right, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. There's nothing more I can say. I am I just want to say thanks if you guys tuned in to watch this review. Because I'm sure you've seen millions of reviews of this uh, Laser Shot Predator. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this little review, like, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to receive more cool epic reviews like this, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.